Four is a choice. Eh, not really. Let's see what their thoughts on it before I give my comment. I do not want to be disingenuous to ignore systemic issues that we all experience, but I feel like it's 2021 and there's a lot of free resources. I mean, it's Facebook old video, has a lot of free it's a lot of video, I think First that I'm four is also a mindset. I agree. Originally, when I came on here, I started straight at the homeless shelter. Mm -hmm. I had to flee from domestic violence for oh my family. My Most people in general don't choose to be poor, but since I've been here specifically in LA, a lot of people outside, they don't want to come into the shelter because they'd rather be in the tents. That's I mean, I grew up pride. poor. So That's more I have been pride on both issue. sides of the coin. Okay. And mm -hmm. I can reflect and look back on some of the lifestyle choices that I was yeah. making, some of the people that I was hanging around. So I don't think that people can initially control if they're born into poverty. Right. But I Stick up in. Um, what you said is right. Um, and it's in a sense, as in, if people hang around, and the and the things you do and your mindset can affect you and put you in the lower class right? for example if you're hanging around somebody who have no goals no dreams they just want to party 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 that person gonna always be in the lower class guy as they get money it's spent it's it's spent to go party in the club and all of that and the mindset part of it Yes, because a lot of people don't have no economical knowledge, as in they didn't get any aid or any help. Especially in schools these days, they don't give any economical knowledge, like teach you about institutions, laws, um, taxes, um, how, to get a, how, how to go about getting a business license and how to invest your money, like stuff like that. They don't teach that to lower class people. It's mostly rich people have access to that kind of information, even though poor people have the latest iPhone and that phone you can go online and get all kind of messages on YouTube have tutorials you can do Facebook have tutorials and classes you can take if you want to learn and improve your mindset your mindset when you come on to making money so it's a mindset yes but at the same time it's still other challenges that lays ahead for poor people Especially when it's, it's, gener it's generational poor people, if, as far as I can think back, they're poor, so they never have that drive, that instinct instilling them to go forward and, and improve themselves to gain and lift themselves to poverty. I think that there is a certain level of control that comes along with being able to yeah. have that determination and that resilience. Yeah, discipline, take a lot of discipline too. We need to realize that these people are on the street not because of their own choosing, but because Some of the system. Some people are on the choosing. If I could speak to that, I come from a family that once relied on welfare and food stamps, and I've been blessed enough to make millions of dollars in real estate. But had I bought real estate from 2005 to 2008, I'd probably be bankrupt today. I just bought at the right time. People wish to be rich, they don't want to be rich. The difference is, do you take action? That being said, I agree with a lot of your points you're making about people not really having the resources or the opportunity to have any kind of action plan. Some people don't even want to be rich. Like, I don't want to be rich. Like, stick up in. Um, but I, I don't agree because people will look in the lower class. We have the latest iPhone, the latest Yeezy, the, the latest Jordan, the latest Shub, and Louis V, and um, Gucci this, and Gucci bag. And it's like they don't want to wear nothing cheap. And that, you know, you don't find people with money um, fully, um, fully Gucci out except rappers. And that's the thing that steering this generation down a wrong path. This rapping, this because I think everybody can go and sing and become a rapper and make millions of dollars. It's not that easy and they, they sacrifice a lot, most of these people, to do what they do and to get what they get. You have no idea that some of these things they go, they go through to get that kind of to get fame and money so it is a mindset we, we are raising this new generation of give me give me give me i'm entitled i don't want to i don't need to work for this and i don't need to work for that so it's a mindset and uh as again it's variables it depends on where you live your social economic status as well your your, your area where you come from and key your friends you have around you as well
but I also don't want to be poor. I'm happy in the middle. And I would want to live in a society where they could perpetuate people to live themselves out of poverty through programs. We have that. in the middle. Billionaires should you not You two have tutorials, Facebook have tutorials. You can go and, and improve your, um, your, your, your education. I don't see how anyone could ever spend a billion dollars. It's not a necessity to have that much money. And I feel like there is a certain cap in which, like, you can completely survive and thrive with this amount of money and then if yeah. you surpass that you're just hoarding and then we've seen what people with billions of dollars are doing with their money they're going to space for fun like right. just clearly kind of what to do with their own money properly they get their wealth and distribute it to people who need it that'd be a much that better makes use no sense. than going to space for fun stick up in you hear that person like that that's, that's what poor people say imagine I put in the work, the sacrifice, the hours, the time. Don't not see my family, not see my kids. They, they don't like you because they, you wasn't around, and you built up this vast amount of money. Then now for somebody to come and tell you, no, you need to take that money and distribute it to people who didn't make it, like me. No one tells you to sit down there and wait and don't push yourself as or, 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 you didn't work hard enough. And you sit back and fall down like this, and then they're like. I'm gonna wait till somebody get rich and then we're gonna make the government tax them, take the money and get redistributed to me. That don't make no sense. That we cause that means that they are pitting people with they are pitting the lower class or the poor people with rich people to go against rich people, say, Oh, you don't need that much money. Which is actually kind of true. They they did a study and they say if you have two hundred and fifty million to three hundred million, you can buy everything and anything you ever wanted, including yachts and fast cars that the money need to live so but being a billionaire is excess yes but at the end of the day is my if is it that person excess like is like a bill gates or elon musk and they provide opportunities and work for other people to climb the other so you can't when they put government into this redistributing money that's it's gonna be stolen number one and you won't get it anyway so that don't make no sense but notice it it's people who don't have the money say you should take from the rich and give to the poor. When they become, when they themselves reach that status, that level, all of a sudden they are agreeing with the rich people. They don't agree with the poor people anymore because they are at that level where they can lose what they have if the government would come and take it and redistribute it. You're not gonna like it then, but because you're on the opposite end, then you will like it. Of course, that's human nature. Personally, I don't think there's an issues with billionaires existing. The issue for person. me is that. They need to be held accountable the same way poor people do. And I'm talking about the no, justice system. When you look at a lot of billionaires who have gotten that way because of the just incredible amount of value they've given to society, I won't even talk about a huge, crazy billionaire. I'll talk about Jay-Z, who is a billionaire. He made amazing music. That's how he became a billionaire. And so I don't think it's the government's job to interject and say, okay, you have too much. We need to give it away. I mean... It would also never happen in any other arena. No one's going to go, hey, Simone Biles, you have too many gold medals. We're going to take them from you, and we're going to give them to the other people who weren't as talented as you. I completely I, agree. I, I completely disagree. I feel like that is the government's job. And Jay-Z, like you said, Jay-Z made his money from music. This guy ain't labor. looking for handouts. He's, he's entitled. He's selling his talent. But then he's, a, he he's, a, in he's a girl. The, Only uh, woman talk like that. And he's using other people who are harvesting the wheat, the agave. They're back, breaking their back. They're using their labor. So do you think they should invest in those people? Should they just stick work? up in? See, that argument makes no sense. It's like, it's like you're telling me, if I open, if I open a business and it becomes profitable, and then I, I in turn use that money to order or to buy stuff from, let's say, uh, a farmer. You're telling me I must not do that because I'm rich already. So. But if I buy this product from this farmer, as you said, Jay-Z is um, buying the rum and the wheat and, and the people who do the labor. Whether I buy it or not, they still don't do the labor. The wheat have to be picked. I'm not the only person who's buying it. Poor people drink, poor people buy drinks as well. So someone have to prepare it and someone has to work it feel. Someone has to pay for it. Someone have to distribute it. Someone have to label it. Someone have to test it. And then it have to, it have to be shipped. So in that whole process, takes money so that cannot defeat the defeat i don't know what he's trying to say that makes no sense oh and what the young lady said about accountability yes 
which people tend to get away with a lot more stuff than, than, than um, poor people do, which is a fact. But again, only the person on the receiving end of that don't like it. But when 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 your situation is flipped, you know, that's it's like hookups. If you go if you go to the club, I say it's a long line, but you know the bouncer. I say yo, charge me there, and he say yo, forward, and, and he bring her in. You pass everybody in the line, you stand there for hours, and you gone in for free, and you gone in easy breeze because you have, you have a link, you have a, you have a hook up. That's the same thing with billionaires. They have links and hookup is not right, but that's how the world worked from since the devil was a child. That's how the, that's how the world has always been run and it's always run that way. Oh, don't forget, like, share, comment, and subscribe to the Washington Echo Camp Podcast. Boom. Say how your dreams. I'm not gonna invest in you. I'm, I'm saying. What about the job? I'm they mean, they're having jobs. Yeah, but how much are they getting paid for the jobs? Are those jobs in the third world where they're getting big pennies? Yeah. Then where you go? Give them your money. Then. then. How many people are your job? You think, you think hard money does not exist? It doesn't invest. If I, if I may interject, I pay my employees like incredibly well, and I let them choose their own hours. Someone who works for me is a single mother. I pay her fifty bucks an hour. And I think that people that are providing jobs and opportunities, you can hate on them all you want, but at the end of the day, like nobody would work that job if it wasn't in some way, shape, or form worth it. People who That's make right. a billion dollars get a fraction of the value they create. Everybody here who has a business understands that. Even Jay Z only gets fifteen cents a record he sells. Okay, yes. That's so because not because he's independent. Record label, he's using his label no, the, to make money. To save you keep using this word exploited like that. you understand the record business of which I am in. See, okay, a poor mindset. That guy has a poor mindset. Hundreds of artists blaming you know everybody for everything. Yeah. Okay, they're taking risk in an artist by the tapes, pay the engineers, marketing, etc. They're exploiting them. They're taking on a bet, and they can't just give everybody 50-50. They'll go bankrupt. You don't understand the record business and you're just yelling out these words. Stick up in. Don't forget, no one goes into business to lose. Everybody goes into business to make a profit. So if you squander your profit, and remember, business works. They don't make money every single day. They make money one time and then the next time there's, there's a drought. So the money that they make, sometimes they have to go back into the business to keep the, business, to keep the employees paid, to keep the lights on, to give, pay the taxes. Because nobody want to hear from the boss, boy, I didn't make no money this month, so... You won't get paid. Nobody wants to hear that. So when the chips is down, the company has to foot the bill. So when the chip is up, y yes, you might they might give you a bonus, yes, but it's your job to just do your job. And if you want to climb the climb the ladder, you improve yourself, get a promotion, and get your money up. It's that simple. But he seems entitled like he's owed this money because he resent people for being a billionaire. You can't resent people for being a billionaire. It's it's the way of life. Exploiting, like you know what you're talking about, but they're not Please. exploiting. That's why there's one Jay Z and not millions. <laughs> exactly. Of them. I actually want to ask the question of how you define exploited and why you're saying that. It's going to be interesting. So I'm using exploited in the Marxian term where your labor creates value and then your employer takes that value and distributes it unevenly to themselves and then leaves the rest for the workers. That's exploitation. <laughs> No, because he's not a business owner, so he can say whatever the hell you want. When a business owner, you don't, you wouldn't say that. See? Told you. My experience working at Disneyland is very mixed. The workers themselves, like my coworkers, are amazing people. Unfortunately, the company is not so great. They don't pay us that much. They have enough money to pay us more. I think they should just again. It's entitlement. We can't people have something they must give it to you. No, it don't work like that. In our favor. Stick up in. You don't worry about another thing with this generation, this younger generation. They think they're owed something. You're not owed anything. You go put in the work. And I'm, he said he work at um, the Disney or whatever the hell he work. But I am guarantee you, everybody there don't, everybody who works there is not on the same pay level. They have different levels. We have supervisors, you have managers, you have um, vi um, VPs, you have different sections. You know, you have the, um, the grounds crew. So, if you want to get your money up, he said he make thirty three thousand a year. If you want to get your money up, learn this skill, go back to school or learn that, learn this skill, and go night classes and come back and then tell them show them a diploma. Say yo, I can do this and they do it and you get a raise. Problem solved. Nobody's owed anything. That's the thing with this. With poor people, so they think they're owed something. They, they get jealous of when they see you move up a little. They get jealous of you. They want to do everything for you to lose what you have. That's Again, human nature.
My name is Ginny, and I run a software design agency. Yeah, the difference in, in, um, in, in, in talking, or listening, you know, what the guys are saying, what she said. That was like all consuming for me. Everything I did in my life was for business. And so I think my partner felt a lot of neglect. And so a lot of our arguments, a lot of times that we had issues were because of my absence. The economy is rigged. Stick up in before we go any further with the economy. You know what said? She's a business owner, but she, she spends so much time in her business because of an issue in her relationship. And I can attest to this, because when I opened my, when I opened my first business, I'm working 12, 13, sometimes 14 hours a day. But people don't see you and those don't know the work I put in and then they ask and then it was fun to pay, you know how good it feels to even though you're working them kind of hours. I love what I do and it's your business, you will put in the hours. You pay your one tax, you pay yourself, and you pay your bills and all that, and then you, you make a, a, a small profit at the end of the day. But it takes you, away, it takes you away from your family. You understand? That's what, that's, what, that's the thing about owning a business. If people who don't don't know this, but my first business failed, but I learned a lot. Now I have a second business venture I'm doing, and it's a build up solid foundation, and now, now I'm, I'm adding to the foundation to my business elevate. So. It's all about let's hear this about the economy if it's rigged or not. But a young guy is too entitled. Actually... As young people are. If you're born in a rich family, you have more opportunities. And as someone who True. is poor, living paycheck to paycheck, you're stuck having to apply to jobs and settle for things that you don't like instead of being able to follow your passion. You don't have I to agree settle. disagree. Um, mm -hmm. I agree that it's rigged to incentivize certain areas and behaviors like we have. True millions and millions of farm su subsidies so it supports agribusiness mm -hmm. um it may support one area like real estate or capital investment over labor but i, I don't yeah, think it's well, generally rigged well, to the basically from? keep the rich guy rich and the poor guy poor that part i'll disagree but there are certain policies like the reinvestment uh in productive people's hands for building real estate i would say that's a good thing Right? When you say I don't think productive think... people, like, do you just mean people with money? No, I mean it's people that food. actually take that money, organize people, put it to work, and create value. That's what I mean by productive people. But who creates the value? It's the workers who create the value. Listen, there's people who take risk and they risk their money. That's creating value. What you stick up in? Yeah. Um, if I open a business and I put in my capital, my savings, that's a big risk. So the business can fail. Or I cannot make no money for business in a year or two. So that's a big risk. You as a worker don't care if my bills are paid or if I lose my salary, if I lose my, my um my savings. You just want to get you know, you get a, you get a, you get a job, you get a, you get a check and you go home and you leave you don't care what happened to the to the company. Most of the time that's what happening. And um I wanna say it's rigged. Yes and no. In the sense that money makes money. Rich people stick to rich people. I, I, I think I, I, I have an idea why. For instance, let's put it in a simpler term where everybody can, can relate. If you have a car, if I, if I have a car, and I have three, four friends have a car, and ten friends don't have no car. If my car breaks down, I can always go to my friends who have a car and borrow their car because people who have car know the, know the ups and downs about it, but you can't go to someone who don't have a car and ask them for a ride because they don't know what it's like to have that car so that's where the disparity is is people in the same situation help each other they don't really turn to the someone else who don't who never been in a situation at all can't help in a situation and this expects this exception to the rule but that's how it is the rich helps the rich and the poor fight the poor and, and help the rich so it's a funny world living but yeah let's continue discount is the person willing to risk their savings okay and provide capital for that venture and to be paid less. So if it goes bust though, the worker still gets paid. Yeah, the investor just said, yeah, that's exactly if what it I goes said. well, the worker gets paid and the investor makes money. You discount the role of capital and savings in any type of venture. Like my mom didn't want to be rich. She wanted to be a school teacher and work and do uh, that. Let's take a picture. I'm going to leave it that. right here because it's a long video now. I don't have, it's going to be too long to, to do the whole video. So I might do a part two on it, but for now, that's not a bad um, discussion. What you learn? What can we learn from this? I would like to see, I would like to see the, the good in every situation. Uh, the, I take, I take away something from it. Is in. 
poor people do have a poor mindset and we need to change that. We need to get that out and try to make sure this generation and the older generation as well get more business money. Because growing up, my grandparents always tell me, save your money. Save your money. Put the money in the bank. Yes, saving the money don't make you rich. Saving the money, we're not ready for it. You finish fast. But we're not, you have to save your money for a couple of years. Then I stop it. Then I invest. Investment, money makes money. So you have to invest to make money. You can save, 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 save money and then think you're going to be like, that going to make you rich. No, I, I, are you going to live a comfortable life? It won't happen. You have to invest, do some form of business, or, or, doing, or do trade. But you have to do goods exchange. You have to be done. That's the only way you can make some money and become rich or be a business owner. So, yeah. Hope you can let you take that from this, from this lesson and put it into practice, into play. As, and if, if, you're, if you're not book smart or you don't want to go to school, you have YouTube, you have uh, tons of tutorials to do stuff. Facebook have courses you can do for free if you want, if you don't have the time. And if you're not a book person, get, if you're a, car, if you, if you're a carpenter, or if you're a mason or whatever you use in construction or you use a, a, a farmer, try to be the best in that field. And then they get the, the more knowledge you gain, the more money you can charge for your services in the future. So anyway, you don't know, you know this. Thanks for watching, you don't know. Peace, one love, boom bang.